It is estimated that on any given night, hundreds of young people will be sleeping on the streets of the GTA, many of them barely high school age. And these kids face increased odds of violence, sexual assault, drug abuse, and mental health issues. But rather than just talk about life on the street, 360 Kids in Richmond Hill was letting community leaders experience it for real tonight. At 13 years old, you were picked up by two traffickers at a group home, and before your 14th birthday, they had gotten you addicted to cocaine, a habit you maintained while working in the sex trade until you were 17. It sounds like a character in a tragic player movie that Lindsay Crane is describing, but it's not. It's based on the real life experiences of a young woman who's been on the streets. Now, Crane and Inspector Jim McSween of York Regional Police will become this woman as they spend the night trying to find shelter and stay alive. I'm looking forward to the experience to see what it's really like and uh, hopefully connect, you know, what we do every day in the police service with uh, how we can help uh, young people. We're trying to experience what it's like to navigate services, to, um, to have to travel across the region just to access a shelter bed or a place to, to, to be safe for the night. Clovis Grant is the CEO of 360 Kids, which organized tonight's fundraiser. He says their goal is to help kids before they end up on the street. Getting to them earlier makes it easier to help them. And 360 is making a difference. Sarah Arkwell is a living example. She was one of those at-risk kids and now helps out at 360. Arkwell says funding, as always, is an issue, especially when it comes to simple things like getting around. A lot of times we don't get 10 bus tickets. We get one or two because of funding. Uh, bus tickets aren't cheap, and there's a lot of kids that need them, and they have to pick and choose. Arkwell says while the funds raised tonight are important, she hopes people participating will take something away from it as well. I hope it humbles them when they see a homeless youth. They're not just out begging for money. They're trying to regain their future. They're, it, it's not an easy thing to go up to somebody else and ask them for something. And they're hoping organizers that tonight they'll raise about $125,000. They've raised close to a half million if that succeeds over the last few years that they've done this program.